Good morning. Happy Monday. Welcome to your early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum here with some words to start your day off well. And uh, we have a card from the Earth Warriors deck today, which I think is going to be an interesting card to share. So, as always, let's start with our breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, letting your shoulders drop. Good morning, Gwen. You're the first one here today. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Feeling that release that comes with the exhale. Good morning, Joanil. Good morning, Cindy. Welcome to everybody. Our practical rebels gathering again. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Just feeling how good that is to take in a breath deeper than you typically allow yourself. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Wiggling a little bit, get some kinks out. Ooh, there was a nice snap in the neck. <laughs> so, as I said, Earth Warrior deck today from Alana Fairchild. And the artwork on this one is by Isabel Brenna. Isabel Brenna. I just think such intricate stuff, right? I mean, you look at that cover, there's all manner of things to see in there. And each time you look at it, you see different things. Uh, let's see. Hmm, very strange. I have no idea. I could not for a minute even imagine that I could explain why Facebook does what it does. Good morning, Mel. Welcome, welcome. It is just a mystery. A mystery. So, yes. Those of you who have the card deck, it's the Earth Warriors deck, Alana Fairchild. Good morning, Beth. Welcome. Glad you're here. And our card for today is number six in the deck, Pollock Mana. Pollock Mana. Whole lot of sacred geometry going on there. And see the butterfly at the bottom? This is about butterfly medicine. And it was interesting. I noted Western, right? Good morning, Deb. Glad you're here. That when I typed in the word medicine, the image of a pill popped up. Nothing about herbs, nothing about, yeah, no, a pill. <laughs> what can you do? Medicine of the butterfly kachina. Medicine of the butterfly kachina. That is ours for today. So a nice deep breath, just looking at the card. Let it go. Imagine if we had this much color in our life. Let's see what it says. Palak Mana, medicine of the butterfly kachina. On wings of hope, butterfly kachina guides you through an ending to the light of a new life within. It is your transition into, a ha into happier times of increased pleasure and delight. I mean, think about that. Look at all that color. How can you not feel happy when you're looking at all that color? Beautiful, beautiful, right? Especially if you have experienced great struggle or loss, the spirit medicine of butterfly brings hopeful promise to your heart. Here it is your sign that there will be happiness, peace, and light. Trust in the goodness being birthed. I'm going to grab a drink here. <clears throat> in a reading. So this is broken down into three parts. In a reading, spiritual guidance, and then some sort of a prayer journey, etc. <clears throat> In a reading, an apparently lost cause or shattered dreams were, was a necessary part of your transformational journey. What was sacrificed can be reborn into something even more beautiful. You are not meant to turn to the past, as it cannot support you in the way it once did. Love that line. Let me read it again. Take a breath. Let it go. Allow this to sink in deeply. You are not meant to turn to the past, as it cannot support you in the way it once did. Trust that you have the inner resources to handle what is happening within you and in your life. And again, we've been hearing this is a tumultuous time, right? There's a lot of upheaval, a necessary part of the shift that's occurring. You are moving toward a significant psychological, emotional, and perhaps also physical breakthrough and transformation. An inner sense of discomfort may be signaling that something new is unfolding within. Any of you remember labor? <laughs> inner sense of discomfort, yeah. And something beautiful birthed, right? 
It is natural to initially feel a little awkward and uncertain in the face of the unfamiliar. This is a good sign of change stirring from within. Allow nature to take its course. So again, thank you, Cindy, for posting that. I appreciate it. Again, if you can frame this as natural, this is a natural occurrence that's unfolding. Uncomfortable, yes, but how many other uncomfortable things do you do? When you exercise hard, it's uncomfortable. When you try to learn something new, a new language, whatever, it's uncomfortable. The discomfort is a part of the process. We need to learn not to avoid discomfort. Allow nature to take its course. Trust in what is happening, even whilst you don't fully understand it. In the end, it will turn out beautifully and also happen to be a new beginning. Spiritual guidance. There are moments when even those of us with great courage feel tested beyond our faith. Doubt, darkness, and despair can creep into our minds and lash our hearts with fear. There may seem to be good reason for our pain, the loss of a loved one, a cherished hope dashed, disturbing human behavior, the state of the environment, or some other unexpected and painful shock. There may be no particular reason for it, and yet we are somehow gripped by feelings of anxiety or despair that we cannot resolve, no matter how hard we try. In the tradition of the Pueblo peoples, including the Hopi and Zuni, Kachina are beings from the spirit world that spend some part of the year living within the community. When revered, they can bestow healing and protection. Palikmana is the butterfly maiden, there she is, embodied in sacred dance during a Hopi tradition honoring girls, the bearers of creative feminine promise. And I'm going to suggest that the boys also carry that creative feminine promise, as do both, all genders, for the divine masculine. Those are constructs, divine masculine and divine feminine, and anyone can hold both. Some people have more of one than the other. Some balance is good. However it is for you, it is. Let's see. Uh, there we go. The healing of the oracle of the butterfly kachina comes to you now to alleviate your suffering. To remind you that everything you have gone through has been part of what has made you strong, compassionate, and wise. When all seems lost, perhaps especially then, our soul needs the gift of seeing the light, love, and wisdom of the divine at work behind all things, at all times, always reaching out to us and offering love. So that's that um, quote from Mr. Rogers' mom, look for the helpers. Whenever there's disaster, chaos, upheaval of any kind, look for the helpers. The soul needs faith and hope, like the body needs air to breathe. Faith keeps the soul alive and well. This next line, I think, is important for all of us to really sink into. You do not have to regret anything that has happened. You do not have to regret anything that has happened. You do not have to judge yourself or any other or wish that things had been different. You have not missed out. You have not messed up. You have been learning and growing. <clears throat> what is required from you now is a willingness to let the past fall away because the person you once were no longer exists. Yes, tons of helpers. They're there after 9-11. Tons of helpers after any, you know, a, a devastating fire in a town or a city. There's helpers there. Look for them. Look for them. It'll heal your soul to pay attention to the helpers. You may not fully realize it yet. Like a butterfly trying to crawl on the ground like a caterpillar, you may mourn the loss of your caterpillar ways. Yet if you take a moment to witness yourself anew, you'll realize that you are not the person from two years or ten years ago. You can then open to the gifts that the oracle of the butterfly kachina is bringing to you now. Well-being, new life, vibrancy, freedom, and happiness. And can you not see that in those colors? Well-being, new life, vibrancy, freedom, and happiness. If you have been working hard on an issue, on yourself, 
or on a cause in the world, and it seems to be going nowhere, you are reminded that in the divine alchemy of transformation, things sometimes appear to be going backwards as they move forward. So think about that with planets. When a planet goes into retrograde, it looks to our telescoped eye <laughs> like it's going backward, but it really isn't going literally backward. It just appears that way. When you think of shooting a bow, an arrow from a bow, you pull back in order to go much further forward. Use whatever analogy works for you, but the gist of it is that seeming appearance of going backwards is literally moving forward. It is the way of things. After summer, there is autumn and then winter, all of which indicate progress toward the next spring. If you didn't understand the creative purpose and regenerative nature of the seasons, you might be frightened by the winter. Concerned that it signified the world was ending. With knowledge of the sacred feminine wisdom of the seasons, you are not afraid of winter. You see it as an essential part of life. You may even learn to nurture and restore yourself during that time, gaining conscious benefit and appreciation for it. If you feel like you are in a spiritual or emotional winter in your life, have hope. The soul unfolds according to seasons, just as nature does. Let your heart and mind rest in trust that life is growing your soul into its beautiful fulfillment. So here's the healing process. Nice deep breath. Let it go. Butterfly takes us out of seriousness and into childlike joy. Is there something that you used to love to do as a child? Is there some activity that makes you feel healthily childlike? Perhaps laughing at a funny animal video or going for a walk in nature, coloring or pulling, pulling a hula hoop out of the back of the wardrobe? <laughs> now that would be hilarious. Might end up at the chiropractor with that one. <laughs> Playing drums on pots and pans, singing and dancing in your lounge room. Take some time to be with your inner child self and be entirely engaged in the present moment. So that can be drawing with your right, right hand if you're left-handed, left hand if you're right-handed. See what comes out when you, because when you were a kid, learning to draw and write was a laborious effort. We liked practicing, but it was laborious. To capture that childlike experience again, do it with the opposite hand. You're not, you're not dominant hand and see what happens. So when you are ready, here's the prayer to say aloud. So we'll do call and response. I give thanks for the sacred soul medicine of the butterfly, the dancer, the giver of life and positive energies. I honor all that I have been through for it has brought me to this moment. Now I am strong, wise, compassionate, and empowered. I accept life, and I am ready for the rebirth that is happening now, in my soul and in the world. May divine love support successful transitions for our world. May all beings move into love, freedom, peace, and happiness. I embrace this moment. So be it. You have completed your healing process. So there we are. And Gwen's point there that grandkids help you remember what you liked to do when you were a kid. Yes, 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 yes. And those of us who don't have grandkids, borrow some. It's not like there aren't a bazillion kids around who don't have access to grandparents or whose parents work a lot of hours trying to make the rent, whatever. Find a kid. Find a kid. An animal. Dogs. Dogs are hilarious at that. Good morning, Bobby. Glad you're here. But I want you to just rest in the colors here. The butterfly kachina. All that sacred geometry. Breathe it in. Take a breath. Let it go. 
Imagine you're whooshing that butterfly on its way. Breathe in. Breathe out. And one more. In. And out. So I ask you, how on this fine Monday will you put this medicine of the butterfly kachina into practice? Will you dwell in hope? Regardless of what's going on around you, because that's all illusion, right? And it's all in service of this transformation that we are making. Again, as I said, it looks like belches, wheezes, and coughs, but it's the divine unfolding. It's the divine unfolding. And as we hang on to that, and as we breathe into what's the next best step for me and those I love, how do I serve the world? How do I put joy, light, happiness out into the world? Sending you all on your way with, with good blessings. Have an awesome Monday. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.